hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a dollar tree diy and we're going to be making some happy planner skinny and happy planner micro and if you want to see how i do it just stay tuned and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe right now hit the notification bell so you'll know when i uh, post new videos and also to my returning subscribers, welcome back let's get started so the first thing we're going to need is the measurements and i actually went online to hobby lobby and got these measurements off so these two cards right here that came out of my happy note i'm using those for templates so for the micro planner the half we're gonna need nine holes and the length is nine and three quarters and the width is five for the micro we're gonna have four holes and the length is four and a half and the width is three and a half and your pages to go in the micro planner is three inches and I kept this little card right here for the template to uh, hole punch my micro. So the first thing you're going to need is some scissors. Uh, measuring tape or a ruler. A pen or a marker. You're going to need a corner punch optional a paper cutter optional and a happy planner hole puncher or you can use the single hole punch so we're going to slide this to the side and we also going to need some Happy Planners Discs. And these are some discs that I took off of a Happy Note that I had. So we're going to use these. And with the material that I'm going to use to make it with, actually I was able to make two micro planners. This right here is a binder that I got from the Dollar Tree and this type of material is plastic so you won't need to laminate this so i just thought the design on the front was cute so the first thing we're going to do is open this up and we're going to remove the center ring and right now i'm just cutting as close to the rings as i possible can And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So next, you're going to measure out your happy planner and mark it so you can prepare to cut. So first thing we're going to make is the happy planner skinny or half notes. So you're going to do one measurement for the front and one measurement for the back. So you got to have a front and a back cover. So you'll be cutting out two of the same size. And I, like I said, out of this one notebook, I was able to get one skinny note and two micro. So, and you're going to follow these steps twice and you'll use the same steps for the micro
So now that I have both, I'm going to go ahead and corner punch the edges. And once again, you'll do the same thing for your micro. So right now I'm just trying to figure out how I want my pattern. You know, the two, the front and the back cover to match up since they have designs on it. All right, I'm just trimming it up to make a little bit more of a clean cut on the edges to where I had cut it at. So now we're going to go ahead and punch and this material is so thick so I, I had to just do one at a time. And now I'm just using that to mark the ones on the back cover so that everything will be lined up evenly. And we're going to do the same thing for the micro. So right here I'm just showing you if you look good you'll see right there were those indentions. So you would lay the end right there on that little flap and I'm going to show you once I lay it there. You see how the, the material sit down in there? That right there will give you the indication that you are lined up correctly. Okay, now that you have punched, we're going to add the rings to it. So now you will add the paper. I had bought these to do for the skinny planner, but it wasn't long enough, so I'm going to use those for the micro. So now I'm adding my paper. Now if you want to use those notepads from the Dollar Tree, then you will adjust the size of your covers. And this right here is just a meal plan envelope that I made that I'm going to be using in the skinny note. So what I did was this is some plastic that came off of my Happy Notes book and I am using that to punch and I'm going to use some double sided tape to connect it to the envelope so I can keep the envelope in the planner. And if you ever go into Michaels or any store, you know most of the planners or the happy notes that have that little clear plastic over the front to keep the book closed that is the material that I'm using so what I'm doing is scoring it and cutting it in half so I can use And now I'm applying the double tape to it. So now I'm going to do a test fit just to see where I want it to be. So I can know where to place it at on the envelope. And 
just press it in. So now we're gonna measure out those little notepads. Um, like I said, for the micro pads, the paper that goes in is three inches long. So I'm gonna measure that out, tear it off, and cut it on my paper cutter. I also buy these little notepads from the Dollar Tree to use as half sheets in my regular classic planner. So you're gonna cut each sheet to three inches and then you're going to punch it and then you're going to place it into the micro planner. So this is it you guys this is what it looked like what I did I end up putting stickers on the front of them and I will clip a picture at the end so thank you all for watching and I see you in the next video bye